remembering what it's like to drive on 4x4 roads. So to start this thing off, come take a drive up a steep mountain road and uh, enjoy it. All right, so here we go. One of my absolute favorite stretches of the Colorado Trail. Start this stretch at around 11 and a half thousand feet. So neat to just drive right up into the alpine like this. Okay, so we can see the trail where we're going. Way out that way. Let's zoom in for you. Yeah, it weaves all the way up onto the ridge line it's gonna be beautiful though we got some beautiful paintbrush here yeah the views today are just wild i can't believe i moved away from this Flowers, flowers everywhere. Got a beautiful buck standing here in this meadow. He's just checking us out. Basically the number one animal that I miss interacting with constantly. All right, we're making our way down the trail. Just saw a really beautiful, much older buck. I miss the mule deer quite a lot. I'm looking at the trail that we have to uh, take, really going quite steeply up the mountain. Let me turn the camera around so I can share that with you. Yep. Yeah going all the way up look at this landscape we're up high on a ridge trail right now looking down at the lake there's a couple of deer down there I don't know if you can pick them up This trail is going to keep winding up and eventually pop us out uh, up on that saddle right there. So let's get going. God, the light. Can I go in front of you? All right. We are making our way up the very steep trail and a beautiful lake behind us. Man, Alpine in the summertime. It's definitely a bit of a fairy tale landscape. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so steep. Look at that. 
Oh my god. We keep getting higher and the views keep on getting better. Wow. We are still headed up that way. Oh, I just heard a pika. All right. Probably only about 100 feet uh, left to gain. We're going through this incredible section of fireweed and all sorts of other flowers. Oh my God, it's getting so pretty. And the cool thing is, we're getting to a, when we get to the saddle, uh, we're gonna be looking at pretty much where uh, we were in the last video that I did. So that's pretty neat. I'll give you a look. Yeah, right out there. And the trail just couldn't be better. A little bit different than the hiking in Arizona. <laughs> Which I did love, but can't beat this. You just can't. And we're here in Pika and Marmots. It's an incredible day in the Alpine. Coming around the bend here. The views are getting crazy. Oh wow. Wow. I think this is our final steep stretch of trail. Wow. Well, this is the view. That's why you do the hard things, guys. Things, folks. So you can get out to views like this. Incredible. I think it's going to only get better. Lots and lots of chicken stuff here, huh? Well, that's where we were just the other day out in that saddle. And the peak I was climbing is this banded one. Pretty remarkable. It's just perfectly still and silent up here. Beautiful. All right, so we made it to the spot that we're just gonna chill out for a little while. Um, just take it all in. You can hear there's waterfalls off in the distance out on those peaks. You can hear all the pikas and the marmots squeaking. There's nobody up here. It just couldn't be, it could not be a more beautiful day. Let me show you what we're working with here.
that's going to be all the way out in um, kind of Telluride area. I believe that's Lone Cone Mountain. And this is what's right in front of us. Waterfalls coming down the mountain. Pretty unreal. So, yeah, feeling happy. I'm not ready to uh, head back to Arizona on Tuesday and then um, finish packing up. And I have to do a trip in the Grand Canyon before I finish my move, which will be awesome. I'm doing that with my brother, but mentally I am not there right now. I am in the mountains. Okay, and here's one more look at the other side of the ridge that we're on, where we came from. Way out there is our favorite place in the world, Chicago Basin. Okay, so I just learned a very cool thing as I was standing up here admiring the view, um, trying to figure out what mountains I was looking at. And the mountains that are the furthest in the distance um, would be, so way, way out there, all the way out there are the LaSalle Mountains in Utah. And according to Gaia GPS, those are actually um, <laughs> 100 miles away, which is pretty bonkers that you get that much visibility because they're pretty plain to see. So I'm sure we're able to see even further than 100 miles. That's just so, so freaking cool. Been hanging out up here for a little over an hour, maybe more. Saw a lot of really cool things, and uh, now we're gonna head down. And the uh, the sun is out, the views are incredible, and the trail is steep. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna make our way back, and then hopefully get back down to the four by four road before that gets too busy. Because I don't love maneuvering a full size truck on a shelf road while trying to let people buy me. So. All right, let's hit the trail. Goodbye, mountain. <laughs> She's seen a little baby marmot right now. She's getting some photos of. She's taking a nap. <laughs> I'm sure looking very cute. I can't get the wildlife content quite like this one can with that setup, but that's okay. I'm happy to just see it and then look at her pictures. The paintbrush. Oh, look at this beautiful reflection on this, I would say, idyllic lake. <laughs> so we had been 
way up there on that saddle and then came down the trail right there and now we're here love to have some running water back in my life so we're uh we're not too far from the car now I'm gonna probably go ahead and end the video here uh it's been a spectacular day if you enjoyed uh, coming with us on this hike please do me a favor and uh, subscribe to the channel there's going to be a lot more uh, adventure videos like this to come so uh, stick around and we'll see you on the next one